Hello, John Neal here. It's Tuesday the 26th of March 2024 and I'm doing some sign writing. I'll tell you more about it in a minute. Now that spring has sprung, um, it was Nauru's last week, it's uh, middle of March and uh, the equinox has just gone by. And so the flowers are out, the sun is shining, and there's a, a new sort of feeling to things. So we're doing some uh, more music in town in the Palace Cafe and uh, God bless them, they haven't got a board out the front explaining what is going on. Now it's called, get, follow this, it's called the 124 Club. One, two, four, well, music club. It's on at one o'clock. It's the second Thursday of the month or the fourth Thursday of the month. Who could forget that? One, two, four. So it's the one, two, four, yeah, music club at the Palace Cafe and it's on this week. So this will be ready for Thursday and I'll get the board done and painted today and taken down to uh, our, my good friend, um, Mustafa and the people at the Palace Cafe in Nuneaton and we'll see you there okay first things first let's put on my magic apron from which I get my magic powers and uh, Let's have a think about the layout of this message that's going to go on this board. Well, here's the board in its entirety. Let me just show you what I'm going to do. I'm going to put live across the top at a bit of an angle in that sort of lettering style. Then the word music fairly plainly. Do those both in white, I think. Might do um, a reflection under music, which is quite good. And then it's just information now. Uh, that does say at one o'clock on here on Thursday, one two four club because it's remember it's one two four. One o'clock, second and fourth Thursday, and I'll put that at the very bottom. So I've taken some uh, <clears throat> white acrylic ink out of the uh, pen here and put it into this container, so I can just use this quite wide brush and use it just as, as a regular paintbrush. And then here we go. Right, I'm going to cut through this border at the top, which always looks quite nice. So let's start up there and just go roughly do the whole thing like that. And then I'll go back over it and uh, do all these other parts. And I can indeed tidy up later. You don't want that to happen. Stop it. It's a wonder it didn't happen before actually, so. Right, the way we'll deal with that is to get some get some tissue and dry it off as best we can. And then just dry everything. So with a trusty hairdryer. <laughs> Having kept the black paint close at hand. Tidy that bit up there, no problem. That's it, that'll be sorted. One or two of the places I can help tidy up. And this might look a bit brutal now. In fact, you've got, I think, some of the blue sky uh, reflected in it, but it will all come right in the end because it's exactly the same paint that I've used on the background. I'm, I might get rid of some of these lines as well. 
and just tied it down there. Down there. Oops, we don't need that, do we? There we go. Right, that's on its way. Let all that stuff dry out. I don't want any ridges of paint. That's no good. Okay, I'm going to use the same brush for the word music, and this is going to be more formal. So, I just like to do the M's more or less vertical. I'll just take it at that slight angle. I put this <laughs> my pencil line was uh, a bit off, so I put it back in again. Always take the M right down to the bottom there. You never want it short. S's, we love S's because if you can do an S, you can do anything. Right, that's gone well. But if I make it into a reflection, I will want the bottom edge to be perfectly square like that. For reflection, yeah, it's good to have um, flats like the straight edges like this so let's just put a bit more in there Now what we can do, the first coat of white is always a bit transparent. So just to make it uh, look a bit more lit from one side, I'm gonna put more white on the right hand side there. Something of an impression of being lit from the right. Tidy all this up a bit. Just about get away with this big brush. Again, I can tidy up some of the edges with a, a small white later on. Now the best bit is to put a black line across here which really makes it jump out. I'll just have a bit of a tidy up with this small white. Get these edges nice and sharp here. Aha, done it again. Right, two little tricks to put in here. One is a line across there with black. Curved letters are a bit awkward, but keep it to me and I'm thinking. Right. Now I've got a run of ink off the black pen. Now this black is slightly different to the black of the background, so I've got to go over it with a brush with the paint which I use for the background and then it will just disappear. 
had to give more of an impression that this is a some sort of surface. I'm just going to do a quick on there. But I think should help. Right, moving down to the word. Word the, Thursday. Let's go for some colour. I'm going to use orange. I'm going to use the um, uh, 15 mil pen, straight as it is. And I'm going to do it in sort of a script style that's at the top there. So Thursday, here we go. Well, interestingly, <laughs> it seems that uh, the ink wasn't right across the nib. So it's gone light to dark. It's like tartan paint. It's come out a different colour. So I'm going to leave it like that, it'd be nice. Right, I'm going to put remember across there, but I'm going to put one, two, four, I'll put it in the same colour, I think. So let's put one, two, four. And I think I'll go straight on and put the word remember across here with a white pen. One PM second and fourth Thursday. Now I'll stay with the orange and do a shadow on live using the pen on its own. Well, I'm just going to tidy up and make the ends a bit better because that end look ought to go square onto there and that straight up there or oh, a bit more of a edge there too more black to show okay so I've used some black as well here to Get these lines straight i have to admit i'm a little bit out of practice i'm supposed to be retired you know right another trick is to just put a highlight as if the light was bobbling up from here as well maybe there and then put some white on that as well Right, the last little touch on here is just to put a bit of white on that yellow. So just all we need to give us final pop. And then, of course, to put the border in with a pen. My final thought is that this cuts right over to the edge of the board, but this doesn't. So I'm going to add a bit more over here just to make it jump out a bit. And I'm going to put a big star here. I might get rid of that bit first. And that just pulls the whole thing over slightly. That's the board finished. I usually leave them for a, a day or so and then make some extra changes, but I've got to take this down the cafe 
as soon as possible. So I'll no doubt look at it and think I ought to add something else to it. Anyway, job done. That's not gone too badly. <laughs> I stopped sign writing seriously seven years ago, um, but I still got all the stuff and uh, occasionally do boards um, for friends, <laughs> my own purposes. Uh, but um, yeah, I, my, sh <laughs> my shoulder hurts for a start. Come on, sympathy, please. And um, yeah, I think you get slightly out of, uh, out of touch with the practice of doing it, but that's not too bad. Um, managed to correct a few things as well. Okay, there we go. Some sign writing for you. Who'd have thought it? And uh, so, yeah, thanks a lot for watching and uh, you'll see me next time. Okay, bye-bye. Rise up from thy prison and wing thy fly. Rise up from thy prison and wing thy fly.